In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the cell potential under non-standard conditions. The question reads, an electrochemical cell is based on these two half reactions. Calculate the cell potential. Unlike in previous videos, this time we are looking for E cell as opposed to the standard cell potential. So we're looking for this part and we can use the Nernst equation to do that. But there's a lot more that we have to do before we can actually start using this formula. The first thing that I want to do is make note of everything that they've given us. They've given us the concentration of copper 2 plus, the concentration of Mn4 minus, that's manganate, and finally the concentration of H plus. What we want to do is combine these two half reactions together to get a complete reaction representing this electrochemical cell. And the way we do that is by first making sure that the electrons those found here and those found here in the reduction reaction are the same. Right now it's at 2 and 3. We can make them the same by multiplying this whole thing by 3 and multiplying this whole thing by 2. Let's go ahead and do that. If I multiply each of these components by 3, they all get a coefficient of 3, except for this one that gets a coefficient of 6. If I multiply all of these components by 2, we get a coefficient here of 2, 8, 6, 2, and 4. I'll be combining these two half reactions in a moment, but before I do that I also want to take a look at this chart which tells me the standard electrode potentials for each of these. So let's go ahead and find Cu, Cu2+, plus, yielding the two electrons, and I think that's located right here. 0.34 volts. So this has a standard electrode potential of 0.34 volts. And this one, we also need to locate that, MnO4. That's found right here, and its E value is 1.68. 1.68. Now keep in mind that by multiplying the top and the bottom equations by a new factor, such as 3 and 2, that doesn't change this value that's in orange. Now we can combine. Notice that we have six electrons here and I'll use green and six here, they will be canceling out. So I'll just put an X through them. Combining all the reactants, we have Cu, and that's in its solid state, plus MnO4 minus plus, and you also want to make sure that the coefficients are correct. So this is 3, 2, plus 8 hydrogens, and this yields, the products are Cu2 plus with a coefficient of 3 plus 2 MnO2 plus 4 water molecules. Using the formula shown over here, I'm going to calculate the standard cell potential because we need the standard cell potential for the nurse equation right over here we have to take the standard electro potential of the cathode minus that of the anode. So at the cathode is the reduction reaction. I'll take 1.68 minus 0.34. Now, 1.68 minus 0.34 gives us a standard cell potential of 1.34. Now I'm going to substitute this value into the Nernst equation where I have 1.34 is equal to what I'm looking for, E cell, plus 0.0592 divided by N which represents the amount of electrons that were cancelled out. So 6 were cancelled out in these reactions, I'll have to place 6 as my N value. Multiply to log of our constant. Now, to calculate our constant, we have to take a look at this equation and take the concentrations of the products, namely those that are in their aqueous phase, so not this one and not that one, and divide them by the concentrations of the components found in the reactants that are also in their aqueous phase. If that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So, K is equal to copper, its concentration, 2 plus, raised to the power of 3 because of its coefficient, divided by the concentration of this ion, 
So MnO4 minus raised to the power of 2, multiply to the concentration of H plus raised to the power of 8. I'm going to substitute the concentrations they gave us at the beginning. So 0 0.010, 0 0.010, 0 .010, raise that to the power of 3 over MnO4's new concentration, which is 2.0 raised to the power of 2, multiply 2, the concentration of H+, plus, which is 1.0 raised to the power of 8. Given that the base is 1, anything that you raise it to will still be 1. That's the good thing about that. I'll use my calculator really quickly. 0 0.010 raised that to the power of 3, divided by this number times that number, which we know is 1. So 2.0 raised to the power of 2, times 1 will give you this. And we want this to two significant figures. We'll write down 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7. I'll substitute this value right into here. And we'll solve for E cell. This isn't so bad. So I'll take log of the number that's on my screen, multiply that to this number, 0 0.0592 divided by 6, and then move that over to the left side. So 1.34 minus whatever it was, and we get 1.405. We need this to three significant figures. So two numbers after the decimal place, 1.41 is the answer. 1.41 volts is the calculation for E cell. As you can see, the answer has the correct units volts. The value of E cell is larger than that of the standard cell potential. And that's as expected based on Le Chatier's principle because one of the aqueous reactants has a concentration greater than standard conditions and the one aqueous product has a concentration less than standard conditions. Therefore, you would expect the reaction would have a greater tendency to proceed towards products and a greater cell potential. That being said, if you'd like to see the solution to question number two, leave us a comment below letting us know that you want the answer and we'll gladly make you a video. Hope to hear from you soon.